Hello guys and welcome back to Guild of Dungeoneering. In the previous episode we battled the evil le Lich and this time we're going to conquer the new dungeon in here. Ocular Rift. We're going to use Barbarian again because he's the best so far. Find a way into the Eye Beast layer. Okay, that's fine. We can do that. Let's see. Reach the objective. Okay, so there is no time limit. So we can take our time at doing so. Place that. And what else I can do? Not much. Okay. We're going to just fight the snake or whatever gooey thing is there. Grey Oz, that's fine, I can do that. Let's go get him. It's actually quite easy at the moment to start. There's a Minotaur on the way, I think I should be quite confident fighting from my way through it. Oh, there is the monster there somewhere. We can get him. There is a coin there, that's not bad. I can place it here for later. Throw the coin as well. I will go there later as well. And... Do I want to connect it that way? Yeah. But we're still going to fight the Great Goose. Oh, Oz. Never fought him before, so we'll see what he's capable of. Extra life, always nice. Should we defend? We should. Defend and do 2 damage is better than lose 2 lives. Do 3 damage, which transfers to 2 damage really. Unblockable damage and we are done in here, it's actually quite easy how we fight him. And yes, 2 damage take 1 life off me but that's fine because I win. That's all that matters at the end of the day. Board is good weapon to have, good off offhand weapon to have. Repel is nice. Throw the pouch. Do I need to fight anyone? Possibly I would like to fight people so I can get more gold. We'll do it. We'll place the bear owl there. It's higher level but I can take him. And that will promote me to the higher level as well myself. So that's not bad. Minotaur. I can throw Minotaur in here. I will have my equipment ready, I will keep collecting gold and going that in that direction. To kill the monster and get to the location that I want me to go. Okay, what do you have? Let's do two damage. I lose the card because I couldn't block it, that's fine, I can live with that still. Three damage. I'm still ahead. I can defend it or I can do two damage. Let's defend it, because I don't want to lose extra card. Let's do 2 damage. And we should be fine now. Usually the card I get is always damage, with this character at least, he does a lot. So Burr, you're dead. A scale mail is not bad. Mails is probably one of the best weapons in the game. This is the one I discovered, so I will take the mace. And we'll see what I can do in here. There's a Minotaur in there. I don't want to fight any of them. They have really magical attacks that are super annoying. So it may be difficult to fight them. But yeah, we'll go that way. We'll fight him. And then we can fight other monsters and pick up some gold on the way. Okay, Minotaur. It may be difficult to fight. I never fought him. In no, I think I fought him before. It's not that scary because he has decay. Taking two damage causes him to take extra damage. So with that I can go for three damage for a price of one life and he takes four damage from that. I can go again for two damage. He will take three. He's down to one life, I'm down to one life. I will go for withstand, he cannot kill me this round or the next round. And he dies, so that's how it works. The second I thought something was dodgy and I died, but I didn't. Arkan Helmet, not the best. Red Mail, I will take it. And we'll go for Mimic there. 
Should I throw one more Minotaur? Let's throw the bear, bear Owl just to be sure that we can collect some equipment on the way and then we'll keep going. Bear Owl fight, easy. He does little damage to compare to what I can do. I will go safe for now, just to defend. I should defend from that, I should really attack there, but hey. It's alright, still does 3 damage, 2 damage and we will win it regardless what he does because I always have damage on my hand. So as you can see in here the Bear Owl is really one of the weakest 3rd level opponents. I'm tempted to take Spear over this, Slice, Slam, Bash and Shift and Interrupt, not bad. And Sword. And uh, great. Now let's just take some gold. Let's throw a diamond here. Let's throw a diamond there. Just so we can collect. I'm going to fight Mimic. That shouldn't be a big issue. He doesn't appear like he's super scary, so we should be fine. And let's see. Yeah. Defend and deal to damage. Perfect. 3 damage on 1 life, I will go for that, it's not a bad trade. Defend or kill him, kill him is an answer always. If you can kill in this round, you do it. What do I want? I don't want anything. Possibly a pot though on the head, yes, let's throw it. After that we'll take all the... All the equipment we can get, all the, all the money we can get from everything else. Let's go. Perfect. Fountain is going to provide us with some abilities. Do I want extra opponent? Yes, let's throw Minotaur. Minotaur? Minotaur even. I think that's how you say it in English. We'll fight him. We'll get gold from him so I can have more money to spend in my guild. Because we have to think strategically in here about the guild as well for a future. 2 damage with the slice. I'm ahead. 2 damage from the fire blast. Yes. Because of this decay, he's so weak. I don't know why he should have decay. Minotaurs don't have decays as far as I remember from Legend. They were not undead. They're perfectly fine. Have some gold. Massive gem, yeah. Can we fight you? And we'll see what you... What are you protecting there? Some sort of ring, level 5. Oh, that's going to be an, another easy fight. I'm really disappointed with the way he is. Let's de deal 2 damage that will translate to 3. 4 because of that. That's why we're going to use Repel. To stop the losing cards. What can we do? This one, Fire Blast, for 2 damage. And... Any? Really will do? We've done it. Or I was, was I stupid? I was stupid. Oh my god. I was so stupid. I was sure I win it and I don't. Well, I will see you guys in the dungeon when we get there. Okay, we're back to fighting our final Minotaur. Minotaur, or whatever you say it. And we're going to fight him and win it, obviously. Rekindle, 1 damage, extra life recovered. We'll go for that. I will keep me on perfect life. He takes damage. 1 damage, recovered, 2 life. Yes, we go for that. Again, I will stay perfect there. And he takes damage like crazy. Let's just deal 2 damage. He will take 3 hit on 1 life. Now, easily. Should we go up to 6 life? Let's go. El oh. What? Wasn't sure how it works. Withstand? I can withstand the round. That's fine. He dies. I have to read this card properly then in the future. Let's take some gold, just because we can. And we just have to get there to win this scenario, so let's just throw some reward on the end. And be done. 
Should be easy. Perfect. Ah, we didn't get a gold from the end. And we got 59, so that's not bad. Perfect. Let's go and see what we can do next. Should be level 2. Start matching. Steal the orbs of noisiness. Okay, that's fine. We will steal them. Sounds like a job for a card bur burglar, really, but I don't have one on my on me at the moment, so hey. One, two, and gold. Go. Fine, there's a treasure, so we'll have equipment. I have to place some monsters as well. Petrified in eight turns, so that's the monster to fight. Ah. Let's throw the spider. And do I want to fight him yet? Let's throw that. And he's still going for treasure, so it's all good. Okay, end the turn. Go for a treasure first. That's fine. If I fight a spider, I should be fine. We can fight the monster there soon. Spider is not a, not a big deal. I can defend and attack, and we do 1 damage. Because he's frail, incoming physical attacks do plus 1 damage, so that will kill him. Which is awesome, Spider is dead. I will grab his equipment, because I can use it. Stool is not too bad, to be honest, I will take it. Let's see what sort of cards we're going to get, because I want to level up before I fight him. Grey Wolves is not exactly the enemy I would like to place on my ultimate threat there, but hey, we can do it. Go, grab the equipment. Grey Wolves. Easy. Easy opponent. If you have magical damage, you will take more. Well, defend and deal 2 damage, normal damage, that's fine. I can defend, but it gives me nothing, so let's howl at him for 3 damage, 2 damage there. And 2 damage, 1 life, that's fine. And what are we left with? 1 damage. Awesome, he's dead. Perfect. What do I need now? Rekindle is not bad. Twig is okay-ish. I'll go for a Kindle. It's really better at the moment. From here. I'm really tempted for a Worn Horn because it's really good. Or a Scale Mail. I think I will go for a Worn Horn because it's probably the best thing I can get in here. And I will lose the Stupidity card, which is good. Okay, we have Minotaur. I want to. F I don't want that. I want to fight Minotaur before I fight the monster there. So let's end the turn. We'll fight him, then I will place one more monster here, regardless what it is, just for extra equipment slot, so I can fight the boss on the end with fully equipped. Okay, I can block that, that's fine. So I'm not losing the card, that's usually great news. Let's do two damage. Which translates to 4, pretty much. Again, we can do 2 damage, translates to 4. We are ahead. And 2 damage, and we win. Perfect. What? What? How? Oh yeah, because I took life away. Okay. I took... Uh, it was minus 1 life, but I couldn't win it. So I'll meet you at the same spot again. Okay guys, we are back in the dungeon. We're going to be fighting the monster in here. He has more life and he's frail as well. So we'll see how it goes. We have quite a good weapons there. Hopefully the fight will go okay for us. Let's see. Eye Beast. Ah, we have a little bit... What can I do with it? I can deal damage and revive damage with right life, that's okay. Should we do it? Possibly yes. Because I can't really do much else. So like re wrecking deal, that will keep me alive there. 
physical damage and block. Yes, let's go for that. He's frail, so every physical damage does something to him. I can defend and deal damage, that's fine. He's still ahead though, so that worries me a little bit. Let's do Fire Blast. I don't have much defensive defenses against magic. So it is a problem. Hopefully withstand will help me in here. I can throw withstand, that will keep me alive. And that's fine, because now I can deal physical damage without any problem because I cannot die. So I win. Ha! Okay, that was that was easier. That was much easier. We won. Oh look, it's your dungeoneer who survived. Just look at the joy. I'm so teary-eyed. Do you think that they'll all come back alive? Well, I suppose if they don't, uh, then at least they all tried. Have you seen this gold? That was huge. We got a lot. We see people died in here. As you can see, our cemetery is getting bigger. A lot of them died. We have trophies in here. That's the Black Knight we killed last time. That's the jar of eyeballs from him. Awesome. So we're getting quite a few trophies here. Not bad. Let's see what we can do in the exploring section. I hear this jungle is dangerous and deep, and that its paths are long and contrived. Nobody knows what secrets it keeps, because nobody has survived. <laughs> okay, so we have unlocked completely new campaign in here, with the new Don Jones and new places to visit. So we see we've done all that. Now we have an entire new section in here to visit, so that's what we're going to be doing in the next episode guys. So for now, thank you guys for watching, as always if you enjoyed the series please let me know what you think of it, and I will see you guys next time.